Swallowed by enormity, they walk down the passage. A lone figure engulfed inside the long walls happens into the laundry. Here are enormous's small dirts. Here the swallowing enormity becomes also something else. Here haunting is troubled by their being there. Their presence asks a question. Their question gets at the sore things on your tonsils. Strolling further down the tongue, the back of the mouth beckons them closer, with a sharp breath inward, breathes them in. Attempts through breath to inhale them into eternity are not so nakedly dressed as to be stark. Venturing out, they moved past small dirt to play on the lonely porch. The porch's empathy embraced the troubled child. As they collaborated on ad hoc hopscotch, a single sheet of iron for the roof opened and, if not just for a second or more, all the years sunlight leaked. Hopscotch ended much as it began. Hopscotch fleeted much as their feet did, across and up and down with their new friends. 
which yawned at the sun-kissed child slid down the tube which the yawn opened after the porch tied. The tube deftly dumped them in a lake of beads which the sun would be glinting off were it not shone out for all the years. Instead, the moon bemoanedly borrowed them a glimmer, at least so they could see. As the beads heaved, relieved that the child had at last arrived safe, but troubled nonetheless, they waited expectantly. Years what felt like the child weaved for with no one but the memory of all the years sun on their skin and the beads for company. Somewhat safely suspended, the child weaved. Thinking the dress was full of beads, they finally finished. Now with a slightly more engaged moon and a scattering of stars for watches. The beads were now in the dress and they couldn't behave as a gift unto themselves. They giggled. Then the child realized the dress was for their wearing. Back up the tube they shot to re-see the lonely porch and the chalk of hopscotch. A couple drips of rain fell through the unfixed leak where a ray also squeezed. Back into the swallowing house they strolled. The enormity still enormous. The dress was a perfect fit.
Ha <laughs> ha 